let's start with that video or the audio uh, Mr. Chris and Paraletti or whatever his last name is a little bit of both there's some slop to it he is playing very fast um, I said, how fast with that song it's got a triplet feel so what the heck would that be let me see real quick <laughs> I mean if that really God, it's like he's trying to play triplets at 174 beats a minute no yeah wait what no that doesn't seem right no, no uh, or Or six, uh, six notes of uh, yeah, six notes of click there. What the heck did I just do a pick? Goodness, I hate when I do that. Well, I got plenty of backups here. Um, yeah, so he's trying to. That's like crazy ass fast. No. Yeah, it's just really damn fast. There is a bit of slop in there. Okay, that's, that's a bitch. I found it. I found it. I found the pick. I put something on top of it. I should really plug in my compressor pedal be trying to play this fast. Woo! Yeah, there you go. Um, he's also got a lot of distortion on it, sounds like, so that could add to hearing the the scruffiness. Very makes it very scratchy. So not only, yeah, I mean, it's not all slop. Not all slop. There's like a couple things here and there, but definitely old school recording, so you're gonna have human error get recorded. That's really what happened there. Overall, it's not bad. It may not be the most perfect playing in the world, but for Christ's sake, he's playing, trying to play so damn fast, it's like no wonder. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So hopefully that answers the question. Um, all right, let's get to playing some chords here. So this might be something you want to just practice the count. And uh, let's see, can I make an adjustment here in the volume? All right, so we got one E. Uh, no, yeah, one E. I'm thinking of a different rhythm here. I'm thinking of number three that I gave you. Never mind. Well, you can still start with the rhythm, but this one is less complicated. Um, so what I'm doing with number one and number two, in case you didn't figure it out or notice, uh, is kind of more of the same of last week's number one, where it was this rhythm, two beats in a row, and then this rhythm, two beats in a row. So mixing it up a bit to help further your understanding of hearing and feeling where those upstrokes are coming in. All right, here we go, 60. One, two, three, four, one, e, uh, e, uh, three, e, uh, e, uh, one, e, uh, e, uh, three, e, uh, e, uh, one, e, uh, e, uh, three, e, uh, e, uh, one, e, uh, e, uh, one, e,
Alright, 100. One, two, three, four. idea just changing where the rhythm stuff is so again you had two beats of that rhythm and then look two beats of that so technically you do have two beats of this in a row and then two beats of that in a row it's just the chords changing in a different spot um, so yeah we have that rhythm book ending the bar and here we go 60 one two three Four one e a e a e a four e a one e a e a e a four e a one e a e a e a four e a one e a e a e a four e a one e a e a e a four e a one e a e a e a four e a one e a e a e a four e a one e uh, so yeah, for this the G slash D, the F slash C, which is basically just an inversion of a G chord, an inversion of an F chord, you use just your first three fingers. This way you have better control over those notes. Alright, let me beat some minute. One, two, three, four. Terrible. Take two. One, two, three, four. That was less terrible. I think so, anyway. All right, now onto the rhythm I was thinking of. So it's 16th note, 8th note, 16th note, 8th note, 16th note, 8th note, 16, 8, and so on, so on, so on. Alright, so, this is where I was thinking it's not a bad idea to just practice the count. So we'd have one E, a 2, and a E, and 4 E, a 1, and a E, and 3 E, a 4, and a E, and 2 E, a three and a e and one e and a e and a e and a four e and one e a two and a e and four e a one and a e and three e a four and a e and two e a three and a e and one e and a e and a e and four e and done one two three four one e <laughs> I said three instead of two. Try it again. One, two, three, four.
bonus ending, I guess. Um, Alright, if any questions come up, let me know. And, yeah, I'll see you again in one week.